Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our great engine opening series and our crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we are carrying on our look at uh, Leela inspired ideas in the opening. If you don't know what uh, the WDL contempt setting is that uh, creates these uh, opening ideas do take a look at my blog matthewsadler.me.uk and also the uh, the previous series of videos, about 11 videos, which uh, showed all sorts of adventures there. Well, in that previous series of videos, I was playing against Leela and um, uh, suffering just a little bit. Um, here to uh, test these ideas out, I've been playing on Lee Chess an awful lot blitz and having a whale of a time, I have to say. So this um, idea, 5H4 in the Grunfeld, is um, um, one of many ideas that Lila came up with against the Grunfeld. But it was the simplest one to, um, to grasp and uh, therefore to play in Blitz. Um, there were also some, uh, some ideas in the Queen B3 variation that were very, very interesting that Lila came up with. But uh, yeah, it was all quite intricate and uh, yeah, that was quite a lot to learn. So I uh, decided to go for this one. This idea is uh, well known, uh, indeed even very popular, but um, there's a special twist in one of the main lines from, uh, from Leela uh, that's, um, well, actually made, um, well, it's been a real banker for me, I have to say, so uh, sharing it with you now. What can black do in this position? Well, and what is white doing with h4? Well, of course, h4, it's uh, putting that alpha zero march of the rook's pawn um, onto the board. Um, after h5, you can play either h6 to uh, chase the bishop away from this uh, powerful diagonal, or you can play h takes g6 to open the h-file. Um, the other nice thing about um, h4 to h5 is that, um, well, it's kind of destabilizing this pawn in a way, because if black plays knight takes h5, we can take the pawn on d5 there. Um, in actual fact, you know, h4 is most common actually in this position. Um, playing it very, very early indeed. There's actually a book by um, uh, Simon Williams and uh, Richard Palliser on that. But um, this idea is just as interesting. <clears throat> what can black do here? Well, the main line by far is d take c4. Uh, there's just a couple of other lines. You could play um, c6, for example. Um, maybe the most popular move uh, overboard, over the board, I think. Um, I mean, simply takes, takes bishop f4, um, knight c6 and e3 is quite a pleasant position for uh, for white. It's, um, you know, like a, an exchange slav, schlechter slav, where white's got the bishop outside the pawn chain. It's um, a slight advantage for white. It's not terrible for black, but it's not really that exciting. Um, c5 is uh, sort of tempting. After all, that's the normal move that you play in the, um, in the Grunfeld. And um, it's the normal move that you play against, um, you know, a standard white development like um, bishop f4 or, um, or bishop g5. You know, there's always a quick c5 happening. However, the nice thing about having played h4 is that um, you're actually keeping this bishop on c1, which is defending the pawn on b2, generally defending the, the queen side. So actually, d takes c5 is um, very, very reasonable for um, um, for white. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, what can you do? You can play something like castles, then we play c takes d5, knight a6, e4. This was uh, knight takes c5, e5. This was uh, Stockfish's chessify line with a slight advantage to uh, to white. You know, just um, basically, uh, you know, nothing um, nothing really terrible for uh, for uh, for black, but uh, yeah, pretty solid uh, advantage for white. So d takes c4 is the most popular move, and I mean the idea is basically that um, when you um, play d takes c4. Well, you can meet h5, of course, with knight takes h5. That's the um, the idea, and um, of course you're opening uh, the d file there, so c5 is going to start coming in here. So Leela wants um, e4, and now c5 from black, and this is where the the really interesting thing comes in. I mean, d5 is Leela's main line. Um, even with contempt, and it's the main theoretical line, and there's loads of analysis on it from Leela, um, and um, well, that's all in the PGM that's uh, available from the normal place. So that's definitely something that you can try, but Leela's second idea was the one that really appealed to me, because it's the move h5. Especially in Blitz, it's incredibly effective, because, um, you know, 
H5 is definitely a move that um, that you could uh, sort of pre-move. You know, it feels like something you could pre-move. So uh, H5, and we go, and the black players have tended to assume that uh, it's a mistake and that C takes D4. By far the most common uh, um, reply against me in Blitz, C takes D4 is what black wants to do. You know, just uh, take on D4, you'll swap off the queens maybe, black will take on H5, and uh, we've got a point. However, this was not Leela's idea. Leela's idea was to meet C takes D4 with the lovely little intermezzo, H6. And this is a very nasty move. <coughs> it's apparently not um, objectively better for white, but um, I can tell you that the problems over the board are quite nasty. And of course, Grunfeld players in particular, very upset to lose their, um, their dark square bishop because all of their counterplay goes. Um, I mean, there's three choices in this position. I've had bishop f8 quite a bit, um, but after queen takes d4, um, um, yeah, you know, uh, stockfish, uh, stockfish analysis, it's going from 1.86 to 3.02 for various lines. It's that good. I'll just show you a few uh, games that I've had. Queen takes d4, knight d4. Of course, I'm threatening knight b5 here, so a6 is the most common. But then you just go e5, knight g4 and knight d5. We've got a threat of knight c7 check, and after king d8, um, knight b6 is absolutely killing. Um, rook a7, and uh, well, we've got various ideas here. e6 is actually the engine uh, line, which is supposed to be the very strongest. Bishop f4 is what I've been playing in all my blitz games, and I've just scored uh, enormously with it. Um, even the one game I lost, I was several was a piece and several pawns up, uh, but lost on time, unfortunately. But, um, you know, what's white threatening? Well, I mean, we've got stuff like rook d1 coming in, and f3, of course, is actually going to threaten to trap the knight there. So um, enjoy the analysis. That's no problem at all, but it's just absolutely huge for um, for white there. So black's also tried some, uh, some other stuff. Uh, d takes c3 is possible. But then a take take, go hg7, rook g8, and then yeah, e5 is possible. I've been playing the move bishop c4 here. And it's really very, very unpleasant for black. Um, if you go rook g7, um, then I won a game in 15 moves there. Bishop h6, rook g8, bishop f7. I'm simply winning the exchange here because rook h8, I just go bishop g7. You go c takes b2, I've got rook b, rook b1. Knight c6, rook b2, king c7, I threw in a bishop f4 check. The king's not getting out of the way. You're going to have to go back, and then I'm just going to take the rook and take on here. The value of this extra file, I mean, you do have to say that, um, you know, you, you see that um, um, a lot of Leela's ideas with contempt are all about bringing rooks into play really quickly, and very often simply by giving away the pawn in front of it. This was um, a major theme in um, in Game Changer and also the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, you know, and, um, well, you know, these ideas with G4 as well, you know, you're getting, um, um, you know, like a standard semi-slav, but with the G file open, and it's it's really adds a huge amount of power to to, um, to the um, the white position. So, um, and you, you're seeing it again here. You know, if, if there was a, a rook's born on h2, very often you'd sort of say, oh, well, it's not so bad. Yeah, you know, open the file and the rook's coming in with enormous power here. Um, another game that I had was uh, bishop c4, king e8. Um, I went e5 and after knight e4, rook h7, black resigned. You know, this is a 2600 uh, a Lee Chess Blitz player, you know, and uh, the other one was 2630. I mean, these are good Blitz players, right? But I'm winning games in uh, in 14, 15 moves. It just shows what the what the challenge is. And uh, it's very similar to the Benko idea, I think, as well. You know, that um, all of these openings are very aggressive openings, quite theoretical. You, you know, the black player's expecting to be able to play you know, 15, 16 moves of theory, which in Blitz is um, is really good. Yeah, with these moves, you're being, you know, put on your own resources after about move five or six. And, well, the danger is such that you can lose games very quickly. Really very, very dangerous. So Black's best line actually is to go bishop h6. But even this is really, you know, um, extremely, um, extremely tricky. I mean, bishop takes c4 here. Um, if you go, um, um, let's have a look. Have we got a little game of mine? C takes b2, rook d1 check, king e8, knight g5. You know, we're uh, hitting the pawn on uh, on f7 there. Um, what have we got? Bishop e6 here, 
takes takes and um yeah i played bishop takes c6 and uh took a very long time about winning this one or maybe even lost that one uh, just on time in the end but um a move like bishop g7 takes takes rook h7 knight d7 bishop b5 is just absolutely killing you know i mean it's uh um so so difficult for black these positions you know um uh, basically you'd need enormous amounts of analysis to survive and nobody's got that because this idea is completely unknown so after h5 what's the best line well knight takes h5 is the best line and then leela's idea is d5 and uh, the idea is basically two pawns sacrificed but h file opened and um well big center and uh, i mean you've got ideas like playing e5 and then g4 at some stage to trap the knight or something so you know there, there's 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 problems for um for black here now, i've got lots and lots of analysis on here the main line uh, for black is to play the move uh, queen a5 here so just um looking to play b5 trying to get some counterplay there um and then this nice move from white a4 and white's just aiming for uh, for bishop d2 next and then bishop c4 by the way um another line that's worth punting um is bishop d2 b5 and then e5 here with the idea of castles rook h4 and white's just aiming to play g4 next very difficult for for black to uh, to counter this one <coughs> so i would definitely be uh, punting that in a blitz game if um, if i had the opportunity haven't had this uh, that much with um, with um, with white i have to say so after a4 b5 white's idea is to play the move d6 there's one over the board game like this but it wasn't played very well after um, after this What's the idea of d6? The idea, of course, is to dissuade black from uh, casting queenside because I take on e7. Um, if you play a move like e6, white plays e5 and then g4 is coming in and this uh, poor baby on h5 is getting trapped. So e takes d6 played and then this very interesting idea, bishop g5. So this is all Leela's main line when you just you know show me h4. This is all Leela's main line um what's the idea well first of all bishop g5 is protecting the rook on a1 so i've got the threat of going a takes b5 now um bishop b6 looks vaguely interesting to cover the pawn on c4 um maybe you know try and play b4 later but i've, I've just got this idea takes takes and queen takes d6 which is really strong threatening queen takes c7 bishop f8 is the only idea i've got i go queen f4 I've got ideas like queen f6 for example and after knight c6 we're going castle queenside and um yeah leela's idea was bishop b7 rook d6 enormously powerful all this stuff and uh, you know the game goes on basically i've got knight b5 though i've got uh, yeah threats of rook takes c6 if you go queen c7 i think rook e6 was the idea was rook e6 the idea oh no sorry knight b5 was the idea you know there's just so much going on here it's just uh impossible for black to deal with so um um castle kingside is um a line i had a b queen takes b4 and then um, what i did was queen c1 um rook e8 and then bishop d2 in this position which actually turned out quite nicely i'm just um dealing with the, bishop, the idea of bishop c3 check and i just want to play rook a4 and then when the queen comes to b3 and bishop c4 and just uh, win the queen so um this was my game not best play but um but definitely uh worth seeing queen b3 bishop takes c4 rook e4 knight e4 queen a4 and knight d6 um yeah hitting b7 hitting f3 there uh, bishop f3 was played i just took back and uh, well i mean this black queen on a4 is completely out of the way there so i took on f7 and um well i just kept on going that's how i play my blitz games so uh, just uh, getting rid of the pieces around the black king and looking to invade and after queen a5 king f1 queen b6 i played queen d2 which was a rather unpleasant move hitting that knight on d7 and uh, the question is where do you put that knight if you go over here then you know i'm taking and bringing into h6 because you're cutting off the coordination here but if you don't do anything i'm just going to take that uh, that knight so uh, bishop h6 was played queen takes d7 bishop g7 knight d6 and uh, that was uh, my game against punisher 2587 
Um, but I mean, you can see how fun the games are, right? I mean, you're just uh, attacking all the way and not bothering at all. Just, uh, you know, it's just all, yeah. I don't know, Leela's setting you up somehow just to play really nice attacking chess there. So that, I mean, that was, um, that was actually, I think that's been my only game in, uh, in this line. The black players have not uh, dared to go into this one. Um, a takes b5, knight d7 is the best line for uh, black apparently. A takes b5, takes takes. Queen c1, castles takes, knight b6, bishop g5, and bishop d3. Pardon me. And uh, well, that's uh, two pawns for the uh, two pawns uh, sacrifice. You're just aiming to go castles and rook e1. And um, yeah, I mean, you've got a7, d6 is weak. This queen's all the way over on, uh, on h8. Black's missing, uh, you know, the dark squared bishop. It's plenty of compensation. Lots of mansion games ending in uh, in draws in uh, in this position. But uh, you know, White's just got plenty of compensation for two pawns. And uh, certainly, if you imagine the practical game, Blitz especially, but Rapid, even Standard, to be honest, you know, what Black has to go through in order to navigate here is uh, really quite tough. And uh, this is basically, you know pretty much unknown i think there was one over the board game and in a lot of the other lines nothing at all so uh you know big advantage if you play this line and uh, who knows would, would this be in uh, in anish's uh, grunfeld course i think not to be honest so uh so there we are you might even uh, catch somebody out who's following anish's recommendations which by the way are normally excellent but he can't think of absolutely everything so there we are. That was the Grunfeld. I'm uh, giving you all my Blitz repertoire, all the stuff I've been playing for the last three or four weeks and scoring lots of points with. Um, it's all for you. I mean, I hope you're um, you're enjoying this series. Got lots more to come. Also got some black openings to come as well, um, which has been uh, really very, very fun indeed. But if you like the video, give a like, subscribe, tell your friends, I'm trying to grow this channel as much as possible. And uh, take a look at my new books, Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, which I think is still really, really cool. I'm very proud of that book. And Reengineering the Chess Classics, which is lovely. You know, if you like classic games and you want to know what engines can find in them, well, I mean, basically they just, uh, yeah, turn the, the, the general accepted uh, ideas about a lot of games on their heads. And on top of that, there's, uh, I think, a lot of beautiful classic games that you might not have seen. Uh, so, you know, do take a look at that. But otherwise, you know, thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching.